It is very common for design work to begin before a program has been completed. Typically, some form of a conceptual design is done in order to win a project. Many projects do not come with a predefined program that has definite quantities and square footages. This means a program must be fleshed out, and in order to do this, it may be necessary to discuss organization or basic design concepts with the client. In another situation, you may have a design from SketchUp or Revit that you need to analyze, or you want to use it to continue a design. If any of these situations apply, the Affinity Conceptual Design features can help you. Nonlinear workflow may ask that you work on a conceptual design prior to setting up a program, both of which you can accomplish with Affinity. A design layout can be started without a formal space program. Whether your project's template is built up with defined space types or not, you can use the spaces provided in the library to start a design. Just like you would if program items existed, you can drag out a library space onto the design and manipulate it as needed. For high-level design, the type that may help organize a program, floor plans can be created that represent departments and their relationships to each other. Quick massing and vertical organization of the building or site can be done through our stacking diagram feature. Conceptual exterior 3D shots can be taken to portray design concept and use as visualization tools for your client. will inevitably go through many design iterations. This can happen in order to win projects, find the desired direction of the design, or simply to conduct a working meeting with a client. Design scenarios in Affinity can be used quickly and easily to portray various design options. This feature is ideal to use directly in front of a client. Some projects have repeated groupings of spaces. For an example, a nurse station within a hospital. You can work through the layout of these spaces, and when a final layout is chosen, you can use that as a repeated element throughout the design. design is complete, or after you have brought one in from SketchUp or Revit, you can use that design to make a program if you want. Two functions provided in Affinity will generate a program from the design for you, one for area and another for quantity-based items. If the program becomes finalized after you have begun work on a design, you also have the option to match the design spaces to the newly created program items thus allowing you to continue work on the design model you have already created. This has been a little bit about the conceptual design tools provided within Affinity. For more information, please go to Trelligence.com.